Here are four compelling arguments for purchasing life insurance. 1. It has the potential to offer a sense of financial security to loved ones in the case of an untimely passing. Even though we are all going to die one day, purchasing life insurance may be worthwhile if you are seeking to protect your loved ones financially, in the event that you pass away unexpectedly. In the event that you pass away at a relatively young age, it is possible that your husband, children, and other loved ones will not be in a position to enjoy financial stability. For instance, you and your spouse might be putting money away for retirement in the hopes that you will both be able to quit working when you reach the age of 65. But if you pass away when you are, say, 60 years old, then it could leave your spouse in a position where they need to work until they are 70 in order to afford retirement such as if they still have a mortgage to pay off. However, if you have life insurance, in the event that you pass away prematurely, your spouse and or children could get a lump sum payment or regular installments. In circumstances such as these, term life insurance can be an especially beneficial financial tool. You might want to be protected for 10, 20, or even 30 years, for instance. However, after that point in time, it's possible that the people you care about won't be as dependent on you for financial support because they will have reached a different stage in their lives. In this case, you won't necessarily require permanent life insurance. 2. It can be converted into a monetary asset while the owner is still living. You can utilize other types of life insurance, such as whole life insurance or universal life insurance, as a financial asset while you are still alive. Term life insurance, on the other hand, is typically purchased to provide financial protection in the event of an untimely death. This is due to the fact that certain types of life insurance build up a cash value, from which it is possible that you may be able to make withdrawals. Alternately, you may be able to put the money toward other uses, such as making direct payments toward your life insurance premiums. It is important to verify the specifics of the cash value with the insurance company, because the rules surrounding it might change depending on the insurer and the policy that is purchased. You'll want to know what you're getting into beforehand, so that you can determine whether or not this kind of life insurance is worth it to you. For example, cash withdrawals can sometimes mean giving up your death benefit. 3. It has the potential to give one a sense of calm. There is no guarantee that the value of your life insurance will result in a gain in net financial position. Despite this, you might favor the peace of mind that is provided by life insurance, which can make the investment in itself worthwhile. It's possible that you'll shell out cash for a term life insurance policy, but if you're fortunate enough to outlast the policy's duration, you won't ever have to cash in the policy's payout. In this case, the money you spent on the policy will have been well spent. Or, the cash value of your whole life insurance policy might not be as high as the amount you would make via your own personal investments. However, you could feel more secure knowing that you will receive a return on your investment from your insurance provider. 4. It can be useful in the process of estate planning. One more reason why it may be worthwhile for certain individuals to invest in life insurance is that it can be incorporated into the process of estate planning. When your beneficiaries file claims against your life insurance policy, they are often exempt from having to include the proceeds of the claim as part of their taxable income, but, any interest they get is subject to taxation. The lifetime estate and gift tax exclusion for an individual in 2023 is $12.92 million, and life insurance policies have the potential to cause estate taxes to be triggered. However, this only applies to individuals who have extremely high levels of wealth. Therefore, depending on the state of your finances as well as those of your family, you might find it more advantageous to leave some money behind in the form of a life insurance policy as opposed to, for example, a brokerage account, which might subject your descendants to taxes on capital gains.